now it's time to design our footer area first of all take a look at the footer here inside the design the footer looks like this so there are three column the first column is a little bit bigger than other two columns let's take a look at the footer first and i'm going to change the view by selecting the container change the desktop version here now press command k and footer the footer looks like this so it's almost similar but the column here you can see it has three column so what we can do we can increase the column here let's select three and copy or remove one item from here so the, my goal is to use the existing one so let's remove uh, the first column from here and use this paragraph into the third one and navigation into the third column under the paragraph but what about uh, this one let's remove now as you can see uh, it just within a few clicks it looks like this i have to uh, work on few other settings here let's change the typography which is called company uh, 20 pixel semi bold or kibo and this is paragraph font i'd like to convert this paragraph into a spectra heading and select h5 which is 20 pixel and i'd like to change it manually because there is no uh, font size that i have we have taken uh, to the 20 pixel so let's convert to the spectra heading select okay i'll change the i can simply copy the style from here without uh, manually doing it again and again but i have to convert it first paste here and change it to ace5 you can change the text uh, you can change the other items later now it's inside the column and currently uh, you can also change it from column to container uh, in header uh, i have used column i'm sorry i have used container but here i'm gonna use column as of now let's export this image svg and navigate here replace the image this one is the footer white color logo but still it's displaying black because if i go to the styles you can see it's a due to filter that has been added here let reset the filter it looks like this now uh, inside the group uh, i just converted i'll convert it group to the container because i have to add some background uh, image and some other settings now after converting to the container if you just take a look at here there is only column and row so inside the container add an image export this image first so you can only export the image version now export click preview here you can see the image and select a uh, jpg export and click on the eye icon to display the overlay i will add the overlay uh, manually cover and click on overlay type and you have to change the color let's reduce the browser window I you can see there are little there is little bit issue inside the container um, 
and the column which is uh, displaying full width across the entire devices so wh what is the solutions inside the container i'll be taking another container uh, i think uh, it has added some full width let's select and make it full width okay now it looks perfect remove the other container which is not necessary so it's time to add color if you want more uh, adjustable features change the paragraph to the heading and change it the paragraph from here change the color because the default uh, heading and default paragraph has less options and that's why I'd like to use the spectra um, for better view and for better customization okay I think there is something else inside the image you can see here uh, the texts are already the texts are visible and that is not appropriate way so I have to take the image again I don't know why it's appearing like that way from footer disable this one and also all the text only select the image now I have selected only the image upload again so this uh, the first image that I have uploaded here for the footer it has some text overlay that is coming from the figma design and now I have removed that and changed that and now it's only displaying the text over the image not uh, inside the image that is that was displaying previously now let's change the navigation color you can change the navigation later on uh, as of now I'm just using the default one select the row from here I can change the row color globally from here and add some spacing at the top and bottom select uh, the parent container go to spacing at 20 pixel first and unlink at 120 pixel at the top and 100 uh, let's verify here again so it was around 90 pixel at the top and 50 pixel at the bottom so add 90 pixel at the top and 50 pixel at the bottom and below the column there is uh, some border I think we can add here below the column or above the row but let's add below the column border bottom let's say light color one pixel I think it's little bit lighter yes select column again and go to the style tab okay this column parent column not the child one and change it to this color now it looks like this the social icon which is here let's change it to the white color and add some padding to the parent column if you are if you haven't watched the previous video maybe you might be get confused uh, where I'm navigating or uh, what I'm doing here but this is the default block that I have explained very carefully in depth uh, in my in other series tutorial if you haven't watched them I highly recommend to complete that series tutorial now you can adjust the spacing at the top bottom here as well but I'm not going to spend so much time here you can uh, do it later on I'm selecting the uh, child container under the parent container here and add some padding to the right side uh, it's not a good practice to add padding here instead padding what we can do we can add some uh, margin here inside the heading because when I add margin here on the right I can adjust them on tablet and mobile devices for spectra block like the heading I'm using from spectra not the default one and that's why I can add margin on the spectra 
because uh, we can change the value in smaller screen but the default block doesn't have options to change the value on a smaller screen we have completed the footer part let's take a look at the responsive view here by default in most most cases the footer works perfectly on responsive devices just need little adjustment for mobile devices for these three column let's select the column here and there is something stack no options here okay select this one stack on mobile it's available here now reload well now it's displaying perfectly for mobile device and tablet that looks perfect we can also make this uh, side by side on tablet using custom code but you can also use a uh, container here that i have used on the header so it's completely up to you but i'm gonna keep this one as of now i'm not going to spend so much time here the main part um, is designing the home page which is here in the next part i'll be start working on designing this page step by step